been, there was a writer who talked about scientism. Yes. Uh, can you uh, comment on the dangers, perhaps? Yes, I, I would be glad to comment on this because I believe that this is rife in our culture. Scientism is a theory of knowledge. It's not science, it's a theory of knowledge. And what it says is that science, physical science, is the only source of knowledge. So that if something cannot be scientifically proven, it's irrational to believe in it. You should only believe what can be scientifically proven. Now this is the philosophy that I spoke of that dominated the 1930s and the 40s and that has now collapsed among philosophers who know better. Why? Well, first of all, this is far too narrow a theory of knowledge to be adequate. There are vast ranges of truth that we know and believe and are rational in believing but that cannot be scientifically proven. For example, logic and mathematics are presupposed by science, not proven by science. Truths of ethics, like the, what is good or evil, cannot be scientifically established. Truths of aesthetics, the beautiful, like the good, is also not uh, accessible scientifically. Metaphysical truths, like the existence of the external world or the reality of the past, cannot be scientifically proven. These are metaphysical assumptions. Finally, even science itself, ironically, science is permeated by unprovable assumptions so that if you only believe what could be scientifically proven, you would destroy science. Just one example. In the special theory of relativity, it is assumed that the one-way velocity of light in space from point A to point B is constant. But we can't prove that. All we can measure is the round trip velocity of light from A to B and back to A again. It could go out at one rate and come back at another. We just have to presuppose or assume that the one-way velocity is constant, but it can't be scientifically proven. So this theory of knowledge is far too narrow to be adequate. But the really crushing criticism, Andrew, was the realization that this theory is self-refuting. Just ask yourself, is the statement, you should only believe what can be scientifically proven, is that statement scientifically provable? <laughs> well, no. It's just an arbitrary definition, and it's not even a very good one. So that if you only believed what can be scientifically proven, you should never believe that you should only believe what can be scientifically <laughs> proven. It's self-refuting. And that's why among philosophers, this theory of knowledge is virtually, universally abandoned. Uh, and it's sad to see certain people educated in the earlier era of the 20th century who, who, who are still holding on to this. People like Lawrence Krauss, for, for example, who are scientistic. But you can confidently reject that when your mates tell you uh, that if something can't be proven by science, then it's irrational to believe it.